Hello, this is Soteria with an instructional video on the final boss of Dragon Age Awakening, the Mother. Now if you're not careful, this fight can be very hectic and the tentacles do a lot of damage. So the first thing we're going to do is try to position the group so that the tentacles don't surround any one person and mob them. For that purpose, I have Justice killing one, the Ranger's Bear killing another, and Sigrun and my rogue focusing on the last two. Pretty much right away I'm going to use that fireball ability to do about 800 damage to each of the tentacles. The reason I use it first is I don't want to kill any of them. As soon as you kill a tentacle, the mother will summon a bunch of children grubs, which you really don't want, but if you stop at around 20% they will use an ability called Tentacle Ward and become disabled for the rest of the fight. One last note about the tentacles, as far as I can tell, Taunt and Air of Insolence do not work on them. The good news is, if you can get to this point with most of your people still alive, especially a mage, the fight almost wins itself. Everyone that has a bow should be using it. Just like the original Brew Mother, it's uh, very painful to engage her in melee. If you do insist on engaging her in melee, just remember that you can stop a grab with force field or any stun or knockdown. The mother does cast a few spells in this fight. The main one you want to watch out for is Glyph of Neutralization. Glyph of Neutralization is the reason your mage always seems to be out of mana in this fight. It looks pretty similar to any other Glyph spell. Uh, what it does is it makes you immune to spells and drains your mana. The downside is you have to move your mage and use a lyrium potion if you want to keep on casting spells. The upside is you can move your group onto the glyph and then you become immune to chain lightning and stinging swarm. Unfortunately, any party members inside the glyph will also be immune to healing spells, so it's a bit of a two-edged sword. One thing that could make this fight a little easier is using a nature or electrical balm to reduce the damage you take from her spit and her lightning. One last ability the Brewmother will use at around 20% health is Rotting Gas. When she uses that, I recommend moving away from her because it does do a lot of damage. To recap, disable but don't kill the tentacles. This is Soteria. Thanks for watching.